Hey, I'm Alex with Mark's Mobility, and what I'm going to show you here is the best bariatric folding power chair on the market currently today. What we have here is the City 2 Plus. Now, I have done videos before on this unit, um, but they've made a few changes over the years, and I want to say enhancements to the unit. So this is the most current up-to-date one. We just got these in on the last shipment, and we noticed a few changes. So I talked to the general manager at, at Travel Buggy, and I went over with him what the changes were. So I want to relay that to everybody else um, so that they're aware of what is on the market. But this power chair here is a 395-pound weight capacity unit that's going to go up to 15 miles in range. Now it's going to top out at about four and a half miles an hour of top end speed. Um, but what makes this unit great is it does fold up. It does have a high weight capacity and then you are able to disattach or detach the two rear motors and wheel assemblies and bring the weight down on the unit. So people want to know really right from the beginning, kind of what the weight is when this unit is fully assembled like this, we weighed it. Here currently, it's different than what the specs say online because we actually weigh our stuff. This was 75 pounds as you see it right here. Now later on in the video, I'll show you how this folds up. I'll show you how you can take the rear wheels off. So stay tuned, you can see all that a little bit later on in this video. But it is 75 pounds with the unit all together, batteries in and your wheels on it. When you do take the rear wheels off, you are able to drop this down to 47 pounds, but that's the lightest you're able to get it with taking a few components off of this unit down to 47 pounds. I have seen online 65 and 40 kind of different ranges of weights with and without the wheels on it, but it is 75 fully assembled and 47 when you do take your rear wheels off. Now, this is fully approved because it does have dual batteries in the unit. They're 24 volt batteries and they're six amp batteries. There is actually one on each side. Um, it's very, actually very cool because on top, and I'll show you this in a video overlay, you can actually press the power button and it'll show you the battery charge of each individual battery. And then they are really easy to remove. A little tab you can pull up and you can slide them out. Now you are able to charge them right through here, um, each battery separately if you wanted to bring these inside. Um, or if you want to charge them both at the same time, you plug it in right here in the front of the joystick and it will charge both batteries. But because this is... Six, uh, six amps and 24 volts. It came out to 144 watt hours. So combined you're at 288 watt hours. And that's what a lot of airlines look at to be under 300 watt hours for approval on cruises or on planes or on trains. So fully approved for all types of transportations, but really what sets this unit apart from everything else, not just the weight capacity that it can handle, um, but there are a few features that I really, really, really like on this unit that are different than other things on the market. So the first thing I want to show you is the arm supports on this particular unit. Now you're able to basically put all your weight. I'm only 220 pounds, but I could put all my weight on here and that arm does not even budge. You will see some units that have plastic underneath here. The arm can flex a little bit. I know that's important for a lot of users to be, want to be able to push off the arms and not feel like it's going to give out on them. The reason why is it's designed here on this armrest with a metal piston inside. Um, so it's not like it's plastic components, you have metal. Now, this is also what's going to contribute to a little bit higher weight, but it is constructed in a way that is very durable for people up to 395 pounds. And I can attest, we've sold hundreds of these units. I have had people all the way at the max weight capacity and they still are doing great in their units. What also is great about having that metal piston is now it's flush with your backrest. So if you do need to slide transfer in and out from either side, you're able to do that without having any obstruction. So that's really nice. A lot of folding chairs have like a plastic piece right here that kind of hits into your back if you're trying to transfer in and out. But with that metal piston under the arm, you do not have to worry about that. I will mention to you as well, Travel Buggy has a 90 day wear and tear. I don't know of really anybody else that has wear and tear that covers your armrest, your tires, different things that might happen to the unit in the first 90 days. Travel Buggy does stand behind their product and does warranty wear and tear for the first 90 days that you own the unit as well. So that's a fantastic design. The next design that I really like too, and this is, they had this design before and in the other versions, but they enhanced it with this latest one that just came out. So they dropped the foot plate a little bit lower and they changed the angle. Now what that did is it allows people that have longer legs to not have their knees all the way up into their chest because this foot plate is adjustable in depth. You have these two tabs on both sides. 
I mean, you can bring it out, I think, all the way to there. So, I mean, you can really bring it out. Now, what happened before with the design, when you'd bring it out, it would angle it up more. So they made this a lot more flat so that people with longer legs, um, it would, it's, it's, it's just a normal seating position where before your feet were a little bit cocked up. So this is a great change that they made to the unit. And then also if your foot plate's all the way in, when it folds up, it's not kind of hitting the front of the seat. It's pretty much flush right here on the back. Um, so that's another change that they made with this new version, but I really, really like that. That depth adjustable foot plate is huge for individuals of all different lengths. Now, also they changed the front caster design as well. So you will see this looks a little bit different here. And they added this little shock absorber. So it will ride a little bit smoother than the other versions did just because it has this shock absorber right here in the front of the unit on both caster wheels. So very nice to get a little bit of that um, you know, vibration taken out. Um, you do come with a travel bag. Now I will tell you if one of these gets drop shipped, most of your stuff is typically located right here in the travel bag, whether it's your charger. And then the next thing I'm gonna mention to you is gonna be the spacers. So with this unit, how they ship it, your total distance in between the armrest is about 18 inches right here. Now you are able to put spacers on this unit and we do a video of how to install the spacers, but basically you have four points of contact, two on each side where your arms meet. The tools are included and the spacers are included on every unit. And when you put it on, you can get close to 23 inches in between the armrests. So you gain about five inches. So standard is 18, but you can put the spacers on and get about 23 inches in between the armrests. So that's a great thing that comes standard. So no matter, no matter if you like this chair and you're 100 pounds and you want the smaller frame, or hey, let's say you're 350 plus and you want the wider, you can do that. It comes standard with the unit. So I thought that was a really nice, cool feature to kind of be able to adjust the size that you need in between the armrests. Now, that does not change the backrest or the bottom cushion. Those are gonna stay the same. The bottom cushion comes standard at about, they call it 18, I mean, 17 and a half is what my tape measure shows. And I'm getting almost 19 inches in depth this way. So that's really nice. It is removable, it just sits on a sling seat. So if you did wanna put something different on there, you are able to remove that bottom cushion. And I wanna to mention to you as well, they do sell different colors. It's not that expensive, it's about $50. Uh, upcharge, but they do make, I don't know, a green, a blue, a purple, maybe a red, a couple different colors that you can look on the website um, and you can change the back and bottom and kind of make this look more uh, customized to your feel. Um, this is in silver, but they also make this in a fully black version as well. So they do have two different colors. They have the silver and they have the black. Um, they're both nice. Personally, I like the black a little bit better. It just looks a little bit more sleek and stealth-like, uh, but they do have both colors on the unit. Next feature that I really love about this unit, it has an adjustable backrest. So right here underneath your, uh, basically probably your mm, right thigh, I would say, a little bit farther back, closer to your butt, a little black handle, it says pull up. When you pull up on that handle, now you're able to adjust the backrest. So you can see how you can recline back. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's still maybe four or five inches to where that's gonna, if you recline back like that and you kick your feet out, you are gonna be able to stretch out some and get some adjustable uh, you know, adjustments while you're sitting in the unit because there's not many folding chairs that have any adjustment um, like that on a bariatric that I know of out there. So that's a huge key feature too, to be able to adjust the backrest and the footrest. Now, before I go any farther too, if you have seen one of these before, I just wanna mention something about the back of the unit before I go over to more specs. They changed this as well. So back here in the back, there used to have anti-tip wheels that would just come straight off and they were fixed in place. Now, with this one, what they did is they designed it to where they can flip up out of the way. Reason being is if you wanna put this chair in neutral, right here is each one of your motors. And so if you push this lever up, I'm sorry, which way? Yeah, up on both sides, it's in freewheel, and then you can drive, you can push the unit around. So if you turn the power off, you won't have any really resistance on the motors, and you can push this unit around. Um, now the downside to it was when they did this, they, they designed it so you could put your feet here and you could walk behind it. The downside is too, when you actually go ahead and you take this um, off of the, uh, take your rear wheels off, which I'll show you here in a minute, um, you cannot roll this unit around. You have to actually physically pick it up. So 
That is one design change that they did change right here. Um, I do kind of like the look of it, and I do feel like once people take the, the rear uh, tire assembly off and they get it down to 46 pounds, then they are looking at that point to basically um, go ahead and just pick the unit up and put it in the back of their vehicle. So I can show you back here too, we actually, this does charge both batteries and pull off both batteries at the same time. You have these little plugs right here. These should never be unplugged, but if for some reason you see it not draining one battery or the other, um, always check these plugs right here because that's kind of what's pulling off both batteries at the same time. I had an individual that one of those came unplugged and he wasn't getting a battery to pull off the left side because it will run off just one battery. Um, but the dual batteries was going to get you that 15 mile range. So what he's having to do is he had to take a battery out on one side and put it in the other. And his only issue was one of those little motor plug or battery connector plugs came unplugged. While I'm back here, I might as well go ahead and I'll show you the cool feature that I was talking about earlier, how you can take these rear wheels off. Um, what you're going to do is you have a motor pin for each side. So you have a little pin, a little push pin. You're going to go ahead and push that pin in and then you're gonna take this off. I'm only gonna do one side just for video purposes to make this go a little bit faster, but you can take it off on both sides. Um, what you will do next is you're gonna take this plug right here and you're gonna unplug this. Um, so now this is probably easier to be in this upfolded position like so. What you can do from here is you are able to just lift the unit up just a little bit and then you're able to slide this off to the side. So the unit will still sit on the frame but this is about 14 pounds or so each side. Um, so you will dr drop the weight down you know, pretty well uh, once you have it, uh, these off. Um, these are actually really nice and not that terribly expensive to replace too. So if you ever need to buy one and replace it, um, this whole, they ship it just like this with the whole motor and rear wheel assembly. And it's actually not a bad price on this unit. So go ahead and put this back on. What you're gonna do is the same thing. You're just gonna kind of lean it to the side and you do wanna line this up. I mean, it's not like hard to do. You just wanna make sure you have it lined up. This actually looked like this rear wheel was kind of hitting that fender. So it might be better to do it with the tip wheel extended down. That way it's not gonna be in your way. Um, like I said, they just changed that. So I wasn't sure which way is gonna be the best way to do it, but it might be with that, uh, to anti-tip wheel in the down position. So once you have the wheel slid back on, then you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna put your safety pin in back from the top, like so, and make sure you connect your motor plug. And then you would do the same for the other side, but once you took those off of both sides, like I said, you're gonna be down to 47 pounds with your final component. And then now on the back here, these are brushless motors. They say they're 250 watt brushless motors. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and actually I'm going to show you from back here because it's going to be easier for you to see when you want to fold this particular unit and that's why these are nice because they're folding and you can put it in the back of almost any vehicle. Right here you have this red tab. If you go ahead and push down on that red tab, the unit is going to begin to fold. Now you can push it down. Now there is not really, let me see, I think you're going to want to probably take your tip wheels like this, like so, and bring them up and now let's see, it's the first time I'm doing it. Yes, so it does stand upright and sit upright on its back anti-tip wheels. Let's see from here. If you kind of tilt it back a little bit, like so, you can kind of roll it around on the back tip wheels, but it will stand up and stay stood up in that position. Now they do sell other accessories, kind of like a safety strap that would kind of strap from here to here and keep the unit together from not coming apart. But this is kind of what you're looking like right here. If you had the unit like this, I'm going to give you overall measurements of what this measures, um, but do remember if you take the rear wheels off, you are going to be down to 47 pounds of overall weight, 75 pounds like you see it right here. The joystick can come off when you're traveling and like I said, the batteries can come out. They do sell a carry-on bag as well because some airlines might ask you to, hey, bring your batteries on. We do recommend that you reach out to all airlines before you're flying just to see whether or not you can leave the batteries in the unit or if you can then, uh, or if you take them on the plane with you. But like I said, they do make the, make the accessories such as a travel bag, a safety hook, the battery bag carriers for the batteries. So all those types of things you can get. Like I said, joystick can be removed. That might be the one thing you want to do when you are going to fly on a plane, just take this off because that's probably your one component that you don't want to get damaged for any reason um, so that the unit is still working when you arrive at your destination. So now if I was going to go overall width, it's going to be probably this direction. I'm going to say about 23 inches is what it's going to be this way. Height wise is going to be your highest point is going to be the joystick. 
Um, and that's going to be at about 40 inches in height. But like I said, you can take the joystick and the cup holder off and you can get the unit down to about 30 and a half inches in height. And then this way, overall width, this is going to depend on what size armrests you, or the spacers, if you have them on there or not. So without the spacers, you're at 23 inches in overall width. If you add, this, if you add the spacers to the unit, well, you're going to be adding about 5 inches, so you're going to be about 28 inches in overall width. So do remember that. That's kind of what you're looking at dimensions-wise on the unit. So to unfold it, all I would do is just tilt it back forward, grab back here, right here on the back of the seat, and you should be able to let the weight go ahead and just snap it back in place. You can check with the backrest, make sure it's um, secure. Then you can go ahead and take your anti-tip wheels at that point and put them back down. And then you're basically able to go ahead and ready to drive the unit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this back around from the front and go over some more features on this unit with you. So what I like about this unit too is they do make an accessory called an elevating leg rest. It's posts that just drop right in here into the frame. There's no tools needed. You drop them on and you slide your legs on. It's a really great feature if people need to have their legs and individual legs and they need to elevate them. So really the Travel Buggy City 2 is a fantastic unit. Like I said, it's my most popular unit right now for bariatric users in a folding power chair. It's priced well, it's made well. They stand behind the product. Um, it's just a really, really good product overall. Um, so if you want, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go outside. I'm going to drive this around. If you want to follow me out there, you can kind of see what I look like sitting in the unit. This is the City 2 Plus by Travel Buggy. This is the 395 pound bariatric power chair. I mean, you can see I'm six foot tall, 220 pounds. This is the standard seat that's going to have the 18 inches between the armrests, but you are able to put the spacers and get more depth. Like I said, I can even then go from here and I think I can go all the way to here and a foot plate adjustment. So just look at my legs and how they're angled. I mean, I'm six foot tall. So you can see it's not even anywhere up in my chest. Um, you can bring this all the way back in if you want. And even at the end position at my height, it's still very comfortable. Joystick can go on right or left. They all come standard with the cup holder. And then you can see it's gonna have a pretty good turning radius. Now it doesn't have the fastest acceleration overall, um, but it is a nice powerful unit. Um, you can go somewhat in the grass, which I kind of do with some chairs, but it's not really intended for that. So it would be really hard, compact surfaces is what I would recommend with this unit. But if you're looking for a unit that folds up, that supports up to 395 pound capacity, like I said, currently in the market today, there's nothing better than this unit right here. This is the City 2 by Travel Buggy. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.